Welcome everybody. A spacecraft called DART is planning an ambitious mission to crash into an asteroid and to learn more. We're talking with Thomas Bruken, head of science at NASA. And so why was this asteroid system chosen for the mission? Hey, uh, so glad to talk to you about this. Well, look, it's really hard to measure minute deflections that really matter in the long run when it comes to the binary defense business. It's really hard to do that in space. Uh, this double asteroid system was chosen because it, because the fact that the smaller body, the one we're going to hit, is in orbit around a slightly bigger one in a 12-hour orbit, minute deflections lead to orbit changes. So the, the, the person who came up with this, right, just uh, really, just amazingly innovative, right? And so we can measure using the orb orbit changes, any deflections that actually really matter in real life. And we call this a planetary defense mission. Can you explain a little bit more about what that means and why it's important? Look, I mean, we're really excited every time uh, our space missions uh, protect life on Earth. And, and as we're looking at the hurricane barreling onto Florida and that region, you know, we remember, of course, that the key assets that provide input are missions that are out there that are NASA built, operated by NOAA, our close agency friends. But uh, in the same way, there's threats from deep space and these, uh, you know, near Earth objects that uh, impact the Earth from time to time. Not very often, but they can really change, uh, you know, cause havoc on Earth. Uh, and so, so basically, what we're really trying to learn is how to deflect and defend against those uh, objects. So it's about knowing all the threats. Uh, we know roughly 45% of uh, all the objects we think at 140 meters or small or larger. Uh, so the other 55% are still yet to be observed. But once we observe one, how would we deflect it out of the way? That's what we're proving tonight. So uh, DART is actually going to be crashing into the moon of an asteroid rather than the asteroid itself. And so why did you make that decision? Going into Dimorphos, which is the moon of Didymus, uh, is, is really the best way of measuring that minute deflection of that moonlet kind of around uh, uh, or this double asteroid system, right? So, so again, we're going into the lightest of the two because, uh, frankly, as a result of that, uh, uh, the deflection, kind of the velocity that we give it, the small perturbation, is the largest. So that's why we're going there. And uh, how are we going to be finding out more about the orbit of Dimorphos after this happens? So that's really exciting because a lot of the orbit, of course, both the discovery uh, in uh, 1996, but also the orbit, the kind of analysis thus far, were done from the ground. And so basically from the ground, we'll make those, uh, uh, we'll be able to see those changes in the next few days, right, as after the impact. So we really look forward to having the data available from our ground-based observatories uh, around the world that help us with this. And lastly, you know, we're talking about planetary defense and the importance of doing so, but can you explain a little bit more, just for context, how worried we are about uh, a problem in, say, the next 100 years or so? At this moment in time, frankly, and that's good news, we are not aware of a single object that's on collision course in the next 100 years. So, so we really are not... Uh, at this moment in time, putting it at the top of our worry list. Because of the magnitude of the impacts though, and because of the fact that about half of these objects have not been discovered yet, uh, we really wanna get the tools together to defend against it. And so it's the appropriate uh, level of attention we're giving it uh, and the appropriate uh, level of investments for, for this uh, innovative mission that uh, tonight will make history. Well, thank you very much. That was Thomas Zerbuchen, the head of science at NASA, and continue to watch our coverage at space.com. Thank you so much.